All right, thanks for staying with us. Joining me now, Larry Curry, who is the chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Good to be with you. Busy days getting ready for the convention. And lots, it's coming up in later this month. Lots of work, lots of juggling, preparing for the convention and for turning out the vote in November. All right, so Florida is being penalized because it uh, held an early primary. That's it right. jumped ahead uh, to January 31st. Was it worth it? Yes. Why? Florida is a big state with a diverse state that, re that represents the rest of the country. So we felt like our voice needed to be heard early to have an influence on the ultimate outcome, given our, the representative samples we are the United States, diverse. People from all socioeconomic backgrounds and ethnic backgrounds right here. It was the right thing to do. Now, the, penal the penalty is 50 instead of 99 delegates. Half our delegates will be the seated voting delegates. That's right. All right. Uh, and they aren't, the hotel accommodations aren't necessarily the best, from what I've read. Innisbrook is a very nice resort. We're going to have a lot of really nice, well planned activities there for all of our delegates, all of our Republicans in the state of Florida. They're going to roll the red carpet. It's going to be an awesome event. And in, in the end, Florida voted for Romney anyway. That's so, right. So, You've got you you got your your choice. Which do you feel like you actually played a part in that, even with the fewer delegate count? I, mean, well, I think so. I think the rest of the country saw the way Florida went in our primary, and again, we we represent what the country looks like. So it made sense, and I think that uh, Florida certainly gave Mitt Romney momentum. All right, and the argument has always been, you know, we need to have a candidate we can elect in, in November, and, and do you think you've done that? Absolutely. Right. Uh, Mitt Romney is electable. Uh, he's got a vision, and it's going to be our job to turn our people out and convince the independents and frustrated Democrats that we're the way to go. Give me a sense, uh, how does the changes at the convention going to impact just the day-to-day -day operations of, of our delegation and, and, the, and the influence they may or may not have? Uh, Mitt Romney is going to be the nominee, so uh, it's about the experience, and we're going to make sure that our delegates and our alternates, and in fact all the Floridians that attend the convention, that they have a really good experience, that they get some energized and excited, and, the, uh, and then we can ride a wave of energy into the general election. And you work for, uh, well, Governor Rick Scott plays a part in your selection, uh, and uh, the, his role seems to be uncertain there, given his popular popularity numbers here. Give me your sense of what you think uh, the governor might be or might not do. Well, a couple things. Do. He's been doing a lot of work, uh, raising money for the convention, uh, helping to make sure that uh, Mitt Romney is well positioned in the state of Florida, as well as all of our other Republican races when we get to the general election. And uh, Governor Scott will play an important role uh, in the convention. Look, he, we are Florida is the example of what the rest of the country should be doing. Uh, reducing regulation, uh, making sure that we have a bu business friendly environment. Our unemployment rate is at a three year low right now. Uh, it, it actually, under the Christ era, it went up like three times. And now we've dropped the rate, uh, three year low. So we're doing the right things. We're doing right here in Florida under Governor Scott's leadership in the Republican legislature what the rest of the country ought to be doing. Imagine what we could do if we had a partner in Washington, D.C. That's a great line that you've you, you the spin meisters on, on that <laughs> idea. I, I, I got to <laughs> hand it to you. All right, so you mentioned Charlie Chris, so let's talk about the former governor. Billboards all over the state sure. from Morgan and Morgan. He writes a blistering piece about suppressing the vote for the, in the Washington Post, and you respond with a tweet. That, and. Uh, 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 Give me a sense. Is the, the, he is talking about running as a Democrat. What does that say well, to you? I don't know what he's going to do, but he, he, he reared his head. He decide, decided to attack uh, our governor's efforts to make sure that the integrity of the vote. And uh, he wrote a piece that is the two faces of Charlie Trist, Chris, completely contrary to we don't know what he stands for. So he talks about open acts of full open access to uh, voters and in fact he Bill Clinton's uh, motor voter law which uh, Charlie Chris was against it Charlie Chris thought in his words that if if someone is if their citizenship is questionable they ought to have to show proof that's okay. what he said then what does he say now and then in 2004 he released a list of 40,000 approximately 47,000 people for potential potential to be purged so look Charlie's just trying to keep his name in the news uh, if he attacks the good things that we're doing, we're going to respond. And I do need to correct myself. Uh, I don't know that Charlie has actually said that he may run for governor, but the Democrats are certainly pushing his name pretty hard. What does that say? <laughs> no bench. Well, I, well, yeah, I don't know. They, they've got a bench. The, when, when they look at, when anyone looks at Charlie Chris's record, he tried to wreck the state. 
He tried to wreck the Republican Party. That's kind of strong. So, uh, but I mean, just look at the history. So let's see, you know, where he, wherever he goes, we'll just encourage folks to take a look at the record. So, is there a Democrat out there that you see as besides a challenge uh, to Rick Scott besides Charlie Crist? Governor Scott is going to keep doing uh, what he was elected to do and what he campaigned on, creating jobs, uh, making sure that our children get a good education, and uh, we're going to go into his reelection ready to roll and. And, and make sure that he gets another term. Does, does the fact that you tweeted and, you, and we're, we're talking about this mean that you think that Governor Chris could be a viable candidate? When, when, if Charlie Crist is going to attack the good things that we're doing, look, Charlie Chris has got a national name. People know who he is. So if he's going to go after the good, solid things that we're doing, we're simply going to point out where he has been two-faced. All right, Lenny Curry, the chairman of the Florida Republican Party, Republican Party of Florida. Thanks so much for being here. Good luck with your convention. Always a pleasure. Thank you. All right, everyone else, stay with us. We'll be right back.